Hello my friend, today I would love to sit down with you and have a cup of tea together with you. I don't drink coffee, that's why I say tea. I have everything ready for us. And I was asked the question, how did it come, a friend of mine asked, that you have so many Bible verses and you pray with Bible verses. And I like to share this story with you because it's, it's a story I will never forget. One year, I got an advent calendar with tea bags and each tea bag contained a Bible verse. So I find this such a great idea that I did the same for my friends. And I opened every day a tea bag and then uh, I read this Bible verse and then I thought, okay, now I read this Bible verse and I can throw it away. When all of a sudden I realized, no, why don't you collect them and read them over and over again? I know the Bible since I am a child, but this really was a breakthrough in how I could understand the Bible because so often I'm reading Bible verses and they are complicated, I don't understand them, they make nothing with me, they stay black letters on white paper, not more. But as a tea bag needs time and as a tea needs time to develop its flavor in the hot water, the same is true for Bible verses. They need time until they develop the whole content. For example, one of these Bible verses was Romans 8, verse 38 and 39. And I don't like this Bible verse um, because I could not understand what it means. It says, I am absolutely sure that not even death or life can separate us from God's love. Not even angels or demons, the present or the future or any powers can do that. Not even the height place and the lowest or anything else in all creation can do that. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Um, because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done. I mean, this is a great Bible verse, but it remained black letters on white paper for so long. But because I collected these Bible verses, I was reading them over and over again. And like with a tea, one day, all of a sudden, I had a breakthrough and I could see like a big, uh, something very big, a big tube and fire through this tube and in whatever situations I would find myself, this big fire tube is the love of God and can go through any situations and always reach my heart. And so all of a sudden I had a picture of what this Bible verse means and this was incredible and I really encourage you to collect Bible verses, to read them over and over and over again and to start your prayer walk, your prayer time with Bible verses because like this you have something to say and all of a sudden you realize like the, the Bible verses start to get flavor, start to taste and start to develop and start to live not only as black letters on white paper, but to start to change your life, your thinking and, and how you think about God. And I really wish that for you. So this was what I wanted to share with a cup of tea together with you. Thank you so much for your time, for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.